big yourself up this is the age case uh, check the links out below I'm just going to be talking today about the privatization of the NHS and it's coming it's been coming for years usually I do a lot of research and stuff on this but I did all that a kind of years ago I've watched enough documentaries to know what's coming for the NHS whether you agree with privatization or not I'm just going to be going through a number of the companies and how it's happened and what I think is going to happen over the next few years as we strike up trade deals with other countries and then the NHS will be possibly placed into ratchet mechanisms from countries like uh, Canada, the United States and the EU will all be placed on the NHS and slowly, 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 bit by bit it will be changed uh, more into a privatised model. It almost is. They've got it everything out. The only thing um, that isn't privatised is the logo. That's about it. Everything else has been privatised since I would say 1978 is when it all began. Um, it all began around about the Thatcher era when Maggie Thatcher was in power um, with her neo-capitalism, Thatcherism as they called it and there's a, a guy named Roy Griffiths, he's dead now but uh, the Griffiths report made the whole thing possible it kind of made the NHS look like a really bad thing um, and it was costing far too much more money but since it's been privatised and gone through this model it's cost three times more and we don't get a better service as we used to. The architect behind all this was Oliver Letwin. He was currently working at NM Rothschild and he kind of designed the blueprint for the privatisation and you could say other public owned services down the line. This was going on later on um, during the 80s. The foreman, as I'd call him, Kenneth Clark, he designed the internal market and the foundation builder John Major, Prime Minister at the time, he built the internal market and started it up. But it all came under Oliver Letwin, Kenneth Clark, John Major, all made possible under the Griffiths report. And then as time went on during the 1990s, 1997, the Trump usability maturity process was set up where companies like Serco, the Israeli Air Force and the Inland Revenue were to then look to ways of privatising and making it easier for companies to come and get contracts. It was a way of linking all the big corporate news outlets like the BBC and CNN into one sort of controlled narrative. And this, was, this happened from 1997, 1998, where they could control vast waves of the uh, population through TV. They'd sort of been doing it since the early 70s and, and 80s, but this is where they could really grasp it and uh, push through. And when Tony Blair and Gordon Brown came in, they created the market structures, the foundation trust, the GP consortia, the compartmentalization of the NHS, um, they bought in quangos, more quangos, even though they said they were going to curb them, get rid of them. Uh, the introduction of private corporations into commissioning were all products of the ill-conceived labour vision of public service reforms. It was all a lie. Later on, after the Brown and Blair era came the Cameron and Clegg era, the interior designers. This is where they sold off all the contracts as the uh, NHS had been compartmentalised and restructured and they gave 7 out of the 10 contracts to private corporations in every area of the NHS almost finishing what Thatcher started back in the 70s and what do all of these people have in common? They're all pro-EU Remainers and capitalist marketers um, apart from Maggie Thatcher of course she wasn't pro-EU well so she played along but they all helped to undermine the British state sell off all the public owned services ready for integration with the EU and most helped to try stopping Brexit as it was coming through John Major got involved Kenneth Clark, Oliver Letwin uh, Tony Blair and even Gordon Brown had a say David Cameron did off did one and went off to France and Clegg he was I think he went into the EU Parliament or he was around and the big four lobby groups on the EU tax related policy the EU business initiative on taxation the EBIT is 
mainly governed by the PWC, the European Contract Group, the ECG, is governed by the KPMG, Deloitte, EY and PWC. The Accountancy Europe is done by Deloitte, KPMG, PWC, EY. The American Chamber of Commerce to the European Union is PWC and EY. So these are all insurance and, and tax related sort of restructuring companies and the coincidentally the big four companies turning the NHS from a public to an insurance based service Delaware, KPMG, PWC, EY and the sort of main companies who have been getting all of these contracts have been Serco, G4S and we know that Serco is possibly one of the most corrupt uh, top three corrupt companies in the world they have a lot of shares in shell companies and lots of big names own them on behalf of but Serco is a main driver in the privatization of the NHS along with the Rothschild and the there's a number of people, but these are the main companies on the forefront, the KPMG, Delaware, EY, PWC, G4S, Serco. As the government wants to abolish NHS trusts and change it for social enterprises is what they want to do. So yes, it's quite possible when Brexit happens that the NHS will be placed into ratchet mechanisms and what they do is once a ratchet mechanism is placed you can't go back to how it was before because these corporations can then sue governments for trying to change uh, policy within the NHS and trying to restructure it because it will have to interline with the EU um, and that's where it will be privatised by then and insurance based so added to you your paycheck will be insurance just another way of getting rid of the welfare state and for the good of the people you could say as the NHS was created for that purpose so having corporations take over the NHS to be honest with you I don't think is too bad because it creates competition within the market but there always needs to be a social safety net for those on hard times who can't so much afford uh, the insurance based uh, NHS that will probably be coming in the future. Myself I've only ever used the NHS for the birth of my son so it's always nice to know that I can always go and use it free at the point whenever.